Team Sleep, DeLorean, Guitar Tabs, and Guitar Lesson. I'm going to play all the different parts right at the beginning here. After that, I'll go back through, give the full explanation for all of it. Before we jump in, please do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button. It's the best way of letting me know that you like this video and you want to see more Team Sleep stuff. And now, let's jump into it. So this is going to be in a drop D tuning. Um, the first guitar, especially we need the drop D, you could uh, very well get by, you know, having a standard tuning with the second guitar. It's up to you. So whichever part you want to play or just keep the D with both of them, um, drop D is where we're at here. So D, A, D, G, B, E. All right, pretty straightforward. Nothing too crazy. Just take the low E, drop it down a whole step and we're set. And for this first guitar, um, it's a real cool like arpeggio on the low three strings here. And the thing about it is uh, there's an ending to it each time, and it kind of varies the ending just slightly throughout the song. Um, the initial time, uh, you know, the couple little chord spots we do, we go through this three times, the whole thing, and it's basically just a low D, open A, low D, and we want to have this three on the middle D ready to go. And we hit that three on the middle D, come back up to the open A, open low D. Okay, really cool chord there. All right, and then basically from there, we just make first fret on the low D and the A here, keeping that three ready to go on the middle D. And we pick through this, and it's just a slightly different picking here. Um, we start with the, the one on the low D, one A, one low D, back to one A. Then we come up to the three on the middle D, then finish at the one on the A. So kind of a weird little shuffle on the second picking there. And like I said, we repeat the, those two initial chord spots twice or three times. comes, uh, you know, the quote-unquote ending for that section of the first guitar, and this is what varies, and it's just very slight. Um, the initial time, which probably happens the most out of all the endings, uh, we slide up to fives now, and we kind of pick just back and forth with the, the D5, A5, back to D5. All right, and then we have this three, or sorry, the seven, um, we were coming from the three, we have the seven, ready to go on that D, and we just pick up through like three times, or sorry, twice. Uh, we go seven, middle D, five A, five low D. Okay, do that twice. All right, and then we finish by doing five on the middle D, five A, five low D. All right, so uh, just to run through that first initial ending here. So as I mentioned, the endings vary slightly. Uh, the second ending, everything stays the same, but when we get to our, you know, uh, upward arpeggios at the end there, the where you do the 7D, 5A, 5D, 
it switches a little bit. We do that initially, but then we do this little bit where we come over and make it an 8D, then a 5A, 5D, and then come off to just the fives on the DAD. And the third ending for the first guitar section um, pretty much just stays at the seven on the middle D, 5A, 5D, and just does that three times. The first guitar, it's basically just kind of walking around this uh, octave, the A and G octave in the scale here. And um, initially, we just start here at the 9A, 11G, hit it, just let it ring a moment, then we'll hit it again, slide it down to the 7 and 9, up to the 10 and 12, up to the 12, 14. Okay, slides the 10 and 12 to 9 and 11. Okay, now drops down to 6 and 8. Okay, up to 8 and 10. Then to 5 and 7. All right, and then we go uh, 10 and 12, 12 and 14, back to the 10 and 12. All right, and at that point, that's kind of where the first guitar gets into its, you know, ending sections. All right, so we're just holding this 10 and 12 and hold it for a few counts, and then we just kind of lightly strum it and build it up. All right, then slide the 10 and 12 to 9 and 11 and then hit seven and nine. And that's kind of our pickup notes back into looping the section. <laughs> 